could make tasty cakes. I'm warning you. Or get some new clothes. If you change one more thing. A bit of makeup. I'm sorry I had to freeze Nanny Plum. She was very rude to me. I don't think Nanny meant to be rude, Mrs Witch. Maybe not, but she was. Are you going to keep Nanny frozen forever? No. If Nanny says sorry, she can go. Nanny, say sorry to Mrs Witch. I will not say sorry. I was only trying to help you out, you grumpy old witch. Oh. So, you won't let Nanny go? Nope. We should get help. Uh, is it all right if we go, Mrs Witch? Of course. You have both been delightful company. What's your plan? We have to get the king. Yes, Daddy can tell the witch off. Then she'll let Nanny go. Bye-bye. Uh, bye. Thank you very much for having us. Yes, thank you, Mrs Witch. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Quick, run. Mrs Witch really angry. And now Nanny's frozen like a statue. Oh, dear. Daddy, if we don't do something, the Nanny will stay frozen forever. Hmm. We'll never see Nanny again. How sad. And there'll be no more lovely dinners. No dinners? What? Ben, is that you? <coughs> Easy now. Don't fly away! <coughs> Hooray! Now, we just have to get Ben turned back into Ben again. <coughs> I've got a very good idea. If we both do a spell together... Yes, that would be fun. Abraka Zabadi! Uh, that was disgusting! I was a little bird and I was eating worms! Oh, I don't think our spell is quite finished. Ben's turned into a rabbit. Ah, oh, now he'll hop off somewhere and we'll have to find him all over again. <sighs> We're not having a good day. What about poor Ben? <laughs> Goodness me, Holly. I've been looking everywhere for you. Sorry, Nanny. But Ben kept wandering off and we had to keep finding him. I see. So where's this frog that needs to be turned back into Ben? Uh, here. But that's a rabbit. Ben was a frog, then a bird, and now he's turned himself into a rabbit. We've tried everything. Well, it just shows that you both need a lot more spell practice. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Fairies of your age really should be able to get a simple spell right. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. Plum. Watch and learn. When you turned Ben into a frog, Abracazobadi. You should not have turned him into a bird. Zabadi Z. And certainly not into a rabbit. Abracazabadi. No, at the start, you should have made him Ben again. Abracazobadi zabadi z. Hooray! I'm afraid we have tomato bugs. Oh dear. Tomato bugs like to eat the tomato plants. Go away. Shoo, 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 shoo. Oh, they keep coming back. Yes. If only we could find a way to get rid of them. Gaston scared them away. Of course. Ladybirds like to eat tomato bugs. Clever Gaston. 
You should be our chief pest controller. <laughs> <laughs> now we can harvest a tomato. Carry on. Right o. Tomato. <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is. That's why we wear these hard hats. But there's another job that's really dangerous. Ooh, what's that? Can I see? It can be quite scary. I'm not afraid. It is possibly the most dangerous job in the world for an elf. What is it? Collecting eggs. What's so dangerous about collecting eggs? Chickens. Wow, they're big, aren't they? Yes, that's why we have this high fence. And why it's very important to lock this gate. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, exciting! Wait, <laughs> Princess Holly! Chickens don't look dangerous. It's collecting eggs that's dangerous. Further ado, I judge that the winner is the tomato. Or perhaps the strawberry. No, no, the tomato. Daddy, they keep using magic. Yes, this happens every time. Why don't we just see which one tastes the best? What a good idea. Let's taste them. <laughs> it can be our lunch. First, the main course, the tomato. Mmm, delicious. Now for pudding, the strawberry. Mmm, scrumptious. Yum, yum. They're both so very tasty. They both win. Hooray! 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 So, where's the trophy? <laughs> Hope I'm not too late, Your Majesty. No, you're just in time. Well done. Jolly good show. Hooray! Hooray! Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Bye, Holly. Bye. Hmm. That was delicious. Now I'd like a little nap. I'm sorry, Your Majesty. There's no time for that. But I'm tired, Nanny. You must make another speech at the Festival of Elf and Fairy Dancing. Oh, I don't know anything about dancing. How can I make a speech about it? Daddy, I can do a speech. I've been watching you do it all day. Excellent. You can make the speech, Holly. Princess Holly and King Thistle. Hooray! Hooray! Look, Mr. Elf has bought the musical instruments. Hi, Holly. That was the last delivery. Now we can play. You might have finished, Ben, but I'm still working. Holly! Oh. Warmer, hot, hotter and hotter. <laughs> Found you. Oh, there's no one there. Ice cold. Ah, oh, this is too boring. I have better things to do with my time. Here I am. <laughs> Found you. <laughs> Good hiding place, eh, Holly? It was okay, I suppose. Elves always hide well, and I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> My turn to hide. Remember, play fair and no flying or anything. No flying, I promise. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'll never find anywhere good to hide in time. Hmm, Ben's 
said no flying, but he didn't say no magic. <laughs> what do you think, Wand? Shall we do a teeny bit of magic? No, Wand. I'm sure Ben won't mind. <laughs> Abcracker dibbly dibble, make me invisible. <laughs> Coming! Ready or not? Hmm. Very, very, very ice cold. Oh. Colder than a polar bear. Hmm. Aha, uh -huh. I see. <laughs> you might as well give up. You'll never find me. I wonder where Holly can be. Maybe she's not in the meadow at all. That's not fair. Fairies can do lots of things without flying or magic. Like what? I can dance like a ballerina. <laughs> OK, but we don't have dancing at the elf games. Dancing's not the only thing I can do. Look, I'm good at gymnastics. And I'm really good at looking pretty. We don't have dancing, gymnastics or looking pretty at the elf games. Why not? We're elves. We have serious things, like jumping, running and... Princess Holly, time for your lessons. Oh, hello, Nanny Plum. Ben's going to be in the elf games. Can we go too? Won't it be boring for you, Princess Holly? Watching a lot of sweaty little elves running about. We don't just run, we jump and we lift things. Look, I won this trophy for the high jump last year. Wow. If you really want a trophy, you can have one. Abracazoo, abracazap for Princess Holly a fancy cup. Yippee! I've won a trophy. Hooray! You can't just magic up a trophy. You have to work for it. I did work for it. I didn't get this good at doing spells without lots of practice. Well, I've got to go and practice my running and jumping. Good luck, Ben. Bye, Holly. See you later. Welcome to the Elf Games. Please remember the Elf rules. No cheating and no... Excuse us, please. Fairy Princess coming through. Carry... <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> <laughs> Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> a spider! <laughs> it's only a toy spider. Dad gets it out every year. Ho, 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 ho! Happy Elf Joke Day! <laughs> <laughs> Mr Elf, I'm terribly sorry, Princess Holly. I hope we didn't startle you. <laughs> it's OK. It's funny. Oh, oh, hello, Princess Holly. Are you having a merry elf joke day? <laughs> yes, I like jokes now. <laughs> <laughs> I wish Nanny Plum was here. She loves jokes. Oh, I didn't know Nanny Plum liked such things. Yes, Nanny's got a really good sense of humour. Really? Then maybe we should go and show her some jokes. <laughs> to the elf truck. <laughs> No, no, Princess Holly. A joke should be a surprise. <laughs> this will be fun. Oh, I'm really busy. Who can that be? Hello. What do you want? Hello. 
What do you want? What? What? Why are you copying everything I say? <laughs> Why are you copying everything I say? Oh, I have... And I have just decided that Ben does not have to go to school today. It's the law. Well, this is most unusual. In fact, there'll be no school for anyone today. No school for anyone? Yes, it's the law, because I am Queen Holly. Um, as you wish, Queen Holly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. The children will be most upset when they hear the news. Children, I'm afraid Queen Holly has informed me there will be no school today. Hooray! 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 What's that noise? Hooray! Hooray! No school! Thank you, oh wise Queen Holly! Hooray! Hooray! Shush! Today shall be a holiday for everyone, even grown-ups. Even the wise old elf. And Nanny Plum. Oh. No one's allowed to work. It's the law. But what shall we do all day? Uh, play games. Yes, you've got to play games and be happy because I am Queen Holly. <laughs> Right, Mr Elf, next on the list, a delivery of food for the little castle. Right ho, Mrs Elf. Gosh, what a busy day. Yes, but elves like being busy. And, and we're, we're elves. elves. Finished. <laughs> Oh, ah, is it dinner time already? Not really. Could you get me a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles, please? Oh, and some plastic flowers. You're going to eat plastic flowers? No, that would be silly. They go with the windmill. Ah, Good work, wise old elf. Thank you. Goodbye. Finally, I will need a little bridge. What? A plastic well and a little picket fence. So he wants a bucket of custard and a big jar of pickles? Yes. Hmm. I knew it. I should never have used a gnome. What's wrong with gnomes? Oh. They make everyone else work while they just eat and sleep. Grumbling again, Nanny. I say, are we going on a picnic? No, Daddy. This is food for Mr Nine. What are we going to eat for dinner, Nanny? There's no food left, Your Majesty. The gnome has eaten it all. Nanny, remember that Mr Nine needs plastic flowers too. Plastic flowers? They go with the windmill. Windmill? I'd better see what this gnome is up to. <coughs> oh. Ah, thank you, wise old elf. I couldn't have done a better job myself. Oh, look, a pretty bridge. I can see you've certainly been working hard, gnome. Yes, your kingliness. So, when will it be safe for you to leave? Go on. Do something. <laughs> Nanny, my owl doesn't work. Don't worry. I'll just give it a little help. <laughs> <coughs> Nanny Plum, have you been doing magic? Just a teeny tiny little bit to help things along. You are a very naughty fairy. Sorry, wise old elf. <laughs> we'll say no more about it. Now, Holly, 
Let's see what your owl can do. Oh, it doesn't work at all. Hmm, maybe too much magic went into its making. I can fix it. I'm very good at mending things. There, that should do it. to do it the elf way. Yes, Holly. I know you did. But it's not easy to make toys without using magic. It's easy for us because... We're elves! <laughs> <laughs> now, Holly, here's your wand back. Thank you. And remember, no magic until you have left the classroom. Yes, wise old elf. And that goes for you too, Nanny Palum. Yes, wise old elf. <laughs> <laughs> First, we need something to turn into shoes. Lemons? No, they need to be shoe-shaped. Ah! Oh, carrots! <laughs> now, we need something round and juicy for the jacket. Lemon? No, a tomato. Hmm, what can we use for the crown? Ah, oh, Holly, you remember King and Queen Marigold? Hello, Hello Princess, Princess Holly. Holly. Hello, and this is my best friend, Ben Elf. Hello, Ben. I must say, your clothes are quite um charming. Yes. Yeah. Nice and, uh, sensible. Oh, is it the country look? Uh, I think the way one dresses is very important. My husband won't be a moment. He's just changing into his new clothes. New clothes? That sounds interesting. Uh, well, it is an experiment. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, that's Fantastic! Outstanding! Oh. Really? Well, the jacket feels a bit soggy, actually. It looks wonderful! So fresh and exciting! Oh. We were just saying how important it is to think carefully about what you wear. Oh, I don't think I think at all. <laughs> What's that? Yes, I was worried that might happen. Tricky things, magic clothes. <laughs> Silly Daddy, you've got a lemon on your head. This is nothing to do with me. My wife chose it. That is amazing. Awesome. I've never seen anything like it. Absolute genius. Self-transforming clothes? I would never have thought of that. Next stop, level 99. Hold tight. <gasps> no! Oh. <laughs> ah, my tummy! This is fun! Whee! <laughs> level 99. The Elf Factory. And the Gloop Machine. The what? The gloop machine! Wow! This way, Princess Holly. Please feel free to ask any questions. <laughs> OK. Hello. What do you do? I pull this lever, Princess. What else do you do? I pull this lever and the gloop comes out. Don't you get bored? Elves never get bored. And I'm an elf. Thank you. Now, moving on. That's the moulding machine. Ooh. And what do you do? I press this button. 
All day? Yes, all day. You must be very patient. Elves are very patient. And I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> what happens next? Next is the paint room. This is where the toys are painted. What's fun? Hello, everybody. Hello, Every elf has their bit to paint. One paints the eyes, another the mouth, and another the hair. Amazing! I thought it would be all done by machine. No, we do it all by hand. It looks such hard work. Elves like hard work. And we're elves! Now, let's mix all the ingredients. Blackberry, sugar, lemon, dewdrop, slug slime, and finally, frog burp. Now, the magic words. Sugar and spice, glug, 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 burp of a frog, slime of a slug. Ah, that's going to taste horrible. No, Ben. Remember, it's a potion to rub on the feet, not to drink. Nobody would drink this. Is bad. <gasps> uh, uh, that did taste disgusting. Daddy, you shouldn't have drunk it. <gasps> you should have rubbed it on your feet. What? I wonder what will happen now. Let's see what the book says. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh dear. What is it? Silly me. It's not a recipe for cold medicine after all. It's a cure for baldness. <gasps> but I must say, Your Majesty, long hair really does suit you. <laughs> Nanny Plum, I think my cold has gone. Hooray! Achoo! <coughs> oh, I seem to have caught the king's cold. Oh, poor Nanny Plum. Now I'm going to take personal charge of getting you better. <laughs> can, can we, we help, help too? Of course you can. The more the merrier. <laughs> uh, uh, please, that's not necessary, Your Majesty. Oh, but it is. Achoo! If the mummy were here, she would build a nest and sit on the egg to keep it warm. <laughs> please, can I sit on it? Your bottom is too small. We need a bigger bottom. Hello, everybody. Hello, King Thistle. Daddy, can you help us? Help you with what? Your Majesty, if you could sit on this egg until we build a nest, that would be most kind. Very well. Daddy looks a bit silly. <laughs> I don't look silly, do I? No, Daddy. <laughs> I say, this is jolly uncomfortable. You won't be long, will you? We'll be as quick as we can. We just need to build a nest. I know. Elves can pick up sticks. Fairies can pick up soft things. OK. We'll collect these sticks. We'll collect thistledown. Ooh, thistledown is very soft. There. And now, the magic words. Sticks, moss and thistledown make me a nest all cosy and round. Lovely. Can I get off now? Of course, Your Majesty. There's a crack. Oh, Daddy, you've broken the egg. No. The egg is cracking on its own. The egg is hatching. Ooh. Oh, it's a little chick. Aww. Goo, 
good. Now the mummy will hear the chick call and come to collect it. Ah! Ah, Holly, you've broken the Queen's teapot. Oh, no. Mummy will be so sad. We weren't supposed to touch it, were we? No. What can we do? Can you fix it with magic? Uh, I'll try. Abracadabra, abracadu, uh, mend this teapot. <sighs> well, that didn't work. <sighs> Nanny will know a spell. Let's ask her. No, we can't tell anyone. What can we do then? Uh, Ben, aren't elves good at mending things? Uh, yes. And you're an elf? Ben elf! <laughs> <laughs> so, can you help me mend it? Uh, I'm not sure. Please, Ben. You're my very best friend. And you're my only hope. Uh, OK. I've got stuff for mending things at home. <laughs> we can carry the pieces in this box. But what if someone sees us? I can make us invisible. I know that spell. Abracadibbly dibble make us invisible. Hey, it worked! Come on! <laughs> dum da dum dum ta ti da Shh! There's Nanny! Ben, be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> oh, bother! My invisible spell has worn off. That's all right. We're nearly there. No one will see us now. Hello, Ben. Hello, Princess Holly. Uh. Hello, Mrs Elf. Put Kazat Magic Ben a hat. Oh. Mm. Mm. Ben, are you in there? Oh, it's empty. I've turned Ben into a hat. Mm. Mm. Gosh, what a big hat. Uh, it's Ben. I accidentally turned him into a hat. Princess Holly, that's exactly why you need to practice your magic more. I was practicing, but it all went a bit wrong. I expect you waved your wand all over the place. I tried waving it right, but this wand is no good. Now, now, a good fairy never blames her wand. Yes, Nanny Plum. I've a good mind to leave Ben as a hat, just to teach you a lesson. Please turn Ben back, Nanny. I don't think he likes being a hat. <laughs> oh, very well. Watch and learn. Ding dong den, hat to Ben. What happened? Uh, things went a bit wrong, but Nanny Plum came to the rescue. Thank you, Nanny Plum. You're welcome, Ben. Now, Holly, next time, shake the wand gently. Yes, Nanny. Sorry, Ben. Were you scared? I'm an elf. Elves are never scared. <laughs> <laughs> Good. In that case, can I try again? Um, maybe later. See you. Bye, Ben. <laughs> He needs to eat lots and lots of leaves. Why? You'll see. First, gather up the leaves. OK, let's see who can get the most leaves. OK, you're on. Too many leaves? Yes, she is a tiny bit fat. There's no way 
she'll ever fly. That's better. She's a good weight now. Uh, Daddy, how can this help Betty fly? Oh, <laughs> you'll see. Home time! Ah, oh, that's Nanny Plum calling me in. Ben! Home time! And that's my dad. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Ben. Good night, Betty. us to feed Betty, but now she's so big, she'll never fly. Daddy must be wrong. Holly, Daddy's never wrong. He's a king and he's very, uh, wise. But how will Betty fly? Wait and see. Good night, Holly. Good night, Mummy. But how will Betty Caterpillar fly? Well, she won't exactly be a caterpillar anymore. Ah, uh, I don't get it. You will tomorrow. Oh, it's very clever. Is it really clever? No, it's stupid. But funny. Ta-da! Here we are. Squeak! Uh, why is the wise old elf dressed as a squirrel? Because squirrels copy other squirrels. Now, if I move an acorn, all the other squirrels will copy me and move their acorns too. But don't the squirrels need to store their acorns for the winter? Ha-ha, <laughs> yes. That's why I'll lead them to the dry, hollow log on the top of the big hill. Your costume looks very heavy. Uh, yes, but it's perfectly balanced by the tail. Ready for checks? Ready! Tail. Check. Acorn. Check. Squirrels watching? Check. Go, go, go! Squeak, squeak, squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> <sighs> Squeak! <sighs> Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh. 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 Squeak! Wise old elf! The, the squirrels are coming! <laughs> Squeak! Squeak! <laughs> 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 Good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed acorn day. Ah! Oh! Oof! I say, an acorn. How charming. Your Majesty, throw the acorn away. How do you change yourself into a mouse? I put these ears on and this nose, then I... Um, was it a good idea putting the toddlers in the library? What? It's the same room you put all the wands in. Ah. <laughs> Don't worry, the great wizardo will sort this out. I'll show them my mouse trick. That will surprise them. They'll be surprised how bad it is. So it might work. Look, children, I've turned myself into a... Mousy, mousy! Squeak! Wow, that's not a bad costume. Uh, the toddlers have magic the wise old elf into a real mouse. Squeak! Can someone please magic me back into an elf? No, we can't do any magic because somebody put all the wands in the library. Ah, yes. Squeak! Ahoy, me hearties! I'm here to pick up my niece, Meryl. Oh, uh, 
Actually, the party's not quite over yet. <laughs> no? The toddlers are in the library with the dangerous spell books. They've got all the magic wands. And they've magicked the wise old elf into a mouse. Squeak! Sounds like a fun party. Oh, no. It's gone quiet. They're up to something. Let's take a look. Hello? Hello? There's no one here. Just our wands. Oh, it's good to have you back again. Uh, Nanny, now you have your wand again, would you mind, um... Of course, oh great wizardo. Silly old elf, back to yourself. Oh! So where be the poor little toddlers? I was afraid of this. Daisy and Poppy have found the secret passageway. Ooh. Where does the secret passageway go? To the secret room. Dig, dig, ho. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, ho. Dig, dig, ho. Dig, dig. Oh, what's that? It's another map. That's right. You can't just find the treasure with one clue. Why not? That wouldn't be fun, me little mermaid. Oof. The X is marked on Gaston's cave. Let's go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Hello, Gaston. Well. We think there might be some pirate treasure in your cave. <laughs> ah, I used to live here myself many moons ago. Probably before you were even born, Gaston. I like what you've done with the place, Gaston. <laughs> Mr. Redbeard, what does the riddle say? Aye, the riddle. I'm easily spotted, and where I lay, you'll find the clue to show you the way. Easily spotted? What's that? <laughs> Gaston has spots on his back. And Gaston's bed is where he lays. It's another map. Ooh. The X shows the little castle. Impossible. I've dusted every nook and cranny of the little castle. I would have found it. Maybe it's well hidden, me sweetheart. Mm. To the little castle. Hello, everybody. Pieces of eight! Oh, goodness me! Daddy, we're searching for pirate treasure. My uncle is Redbeard the Elf Pirate. Your Majesties. A pi <laughs> <laughs> And this is the Blotto Horn. <laughs> Delightful. They all sound silly. <laughs> ah, that's because you don't have sensitive elf hearing. Right! Enough of that! Princess Holly, could you remind us what your tune sounded like, please? I don't suppose you lot can read music. Well, I haven't seen this particular piece before. You played that perfectly. Perfect for you, maybe, but it's not elf music. Elf music has oompa oompa, like this. Oompa 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 Remember, you are playing for King and Queen Marigold, and they are very snooty. We like umpa music, but King and Queen Marigold don't. Quite. So play Holly's tune, please. <laughs> Uh, Holly, do the elf band sound any better? Yes, Daddy. They've been practising all day. OK. 
Let's hear them play. <laughs> oh. That's... We're elves. And you've got my horn. And there's my wand. There's the king's piano. And our TV. And my magic picnic basket. Gaston, ask if we can have our stuff back. <laughs> I think that means no. Why won't you let us have our stuff back, Nanny? Ugh, goodness knows. What do you want all this stuff for? <laughs> she says it's for eating, even though it tastes horrible. Why is she eating it? If it tastes horrible. This isn't food, you know. <coughs> Queen Ant says they used to collect food left over from big people's picnics. <coughs> but the big people haven't had a picnic for ages. <coughs> so the ants have to eat any old rubbish they can find. That's not rubbish. It's a fine musical instrument. I'm delivering it to the Ooh. king. It's not good to eat musical instruments. Yes, Ben. She's obviously very stupid. <laughs> Gaston, don't translate that. Uh, when I said you are very stupid, I meant you are very clever. <laughs> Uh, she doesn't seem very pleased. If you want food, I can make some with my magic picnic basket. What would you like to eat? <coughs> she likes sweet things. What kind of sweet things? <coughs> jelly? Oh, I can do jelly. Careful, Nanny Plum. We don't want a jelly flood. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Magic basket, please. Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Why did Mummy say being a tooth fairy was dangerous? There are lots of things you need to be careful of when you're flying at night. Like what? Ah! Cobwebs, for instance. Good evening, Madam Spider. Sorry for damaging your web, but the young elf isn't very experienced at night flying. Oh. You. Bye. Oh. Thanks, Nanny Plum. Nanny, what else do we have to look out for? Ah. Windows. Where did that come from? Well done, Holly. You found the little girl's house. And that's the little girl. She doesn't look very little. Wow, look at that big girl. Shush, she's also got big ears to hear us with. So be very quiet. Follow me. <gasps> she's very pretty. Not too close, Princess Holly. Oh, her breath is pulling me in. Beat your wings! <laughs> As I said, we must be very careful. This is the tricky bit. I have to get the tooth from under the pillow without waking the little girl. How? <clears throat> Gently pillow up, up, up. Wow! There it is. <laughs> It's stuck. One, two, three, pull! Oh, thanks, Ben. That's what I call a big baby tooth. What about the coin, Nanny? Here it is. Oh, no. What's wrong? Oh, the little girl's written us a letter. What a nuisance. I... Pound has seen a drop oh, oh. to the um, dollar. Gaston says that this TV programme is a bit boring. How about this one? And this programme's too noisy. Hmm. Oh, oh, oh. this programme is just right. <laughs> Look, 
Daddy, Gaston's not sneezing anymore. So, uh, now Gaston's better, maybe he can go home. But, Daddy, Gaston can't go home until his home is mended. He might catch another cold and then he'll be sad. Yes, we wouldn't want Gaston to be sad. Gaston says you are the nicest king in the whole world. Thank you, Gaston. Uh, maybe I'll go and see how the elves are getting on at your cage. Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea, but have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well... All three, if it's windy, like today, fairies should be careful about flying. As long as I fly low, I'll be fine. But on a day like today, no one should fly above the castle walls. It's very windy up here. Yes, yes Nanny, Nanny Plum. So, what have we learned? Fairies should always look nice. Fairies must never, ever be without their wands. Fairies mustn't fly in strong winds. Very good. You see? Even I find it difficult when the wind is so... <laughs> oh, Nanny Plum's gone. Was that meant to happen? I don't think so. <laughs> Nanny's left her wand behind. And a fairy without a wand is like a ladybird without his spots. Poor Nanny! What can we do? I've got a simple plan. We find Nanny, we rescue her, then we give Nanny her wand. But we don't know how to find her. And we don't know how to rescue her. And we're not allowed to touch Nanny Plum's wand. Then it's a good thing I'm here. I can do all those things because I'm an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Gaston, find Nanny Plum. Gaston will sniff her out in no time. Hooray for Gaston! There's Nanny Plum! Stage one completed! Hello! How did you find me so quickly? Gaston followed your smell! My smell? For your information, I do not smell! Oh, when I was a baby, the first word I said was bang. That's not a good word for a magical baby to know. Bang! 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 Is Mummy your wand? <coughs> I'll be off then. My friends are coming round to play. Ah, yes, Holly. Mummy and I were thinking it would be fun if you and your friends played with Daisy and Poppy today. Daddy! It would be a chance for the twins to learn your games. But, Mummy! Hi, Holly! Hi, Ben. Coming out to play, Holly. Sorry, Fleur. I can't come out to play. Why not? Uh, Daisy and Poppy are with me, so we have to play in the courtyard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're so sweet and ickle. They're not sweet. 
Auntie Wandy! Do you want to hold my wand? It's glittery, isn't it? No, Fleur! <laughs> Kitty cat! <laughs> Meow! <laughs> ah! I see your friends have brought a little kitten along. Meow! Uh, that's Fleur! She gave Daisy her wand. I see. Run away, kitten! Come back, Fleur. And which poor friend was turned into this insect? No, Mummy. That's Gaston the ladybird. He's meant to be like that. <coughs> ah, yes, of course. Hello, Gaston. <coughs> now, children, the twins are only little, so please play gently. Yes, yes Queen, Queen Thistle. Thistle. And the twins must stay in the courtyard. <coughs> Quick! Gaston's coming! <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> We've come to cheer you up. We don't like it when you're sad. <laughs> We're really sorry about rolling you over. And riding on your back. <laughs> What's he saying, Nanny? <laughs> Ooh! Gaston says he likes it when you roll him over and ride on his back. Oh! Gaston is not sad. In fact, he's very happy. <laughs> well, you're going to be even happier now. Take a look at your cave. <laughs> Gaston! <laughs> As I said, ladybirds are never happy. Gaston! What's wrong? <laughs> oh, dear. Nanny, what did he say? He said he loved his home just as it was. All messy and smelly. Oh, sorry, Gaston. Don't worry, we'll make it just the way you like it. Yes, <laughs> we're very good at making things messy. <laughs> This is fun! Key, a cobweb here, a cobweb there. Brilliant! Zip zap zessy, Gaston's bed, nice and messy. <laughs> Smelly socks and lollipops! <laughs> Good! Now just a final layer of dirt. And we're done. Well done, everybody. That smells just as bad as it did before. Hooray! <coughs> really? What a fuss over such a little creature. <coughs> ah! My tadpoles! Your tadpoles have turned into frogs, Princess Holly. Tadpoles? Frogs? What on earth is going on? Daddy, I did tell you I had some homework. Here, froggies, this way. <laughs> this is my ring, and these are my toys. <laughs> Play hide and seek. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming, ready or not. <laughs> Princess Holly. Nanny, say hello to my friends. Fluffy, Tiddles, Mopsy and Ben. Um, hello. <coughs> Good night, Froggies. <coughs> Good morning, Ben. Are you 
you coming out to play, Holly? I'm a bit busy, Ben. I'm playing with my frogs. Frogs? <coughs> this one's very good at running and jumping. I've called him Ben. Oh. See you later. OK. <coughs> Help! Wow, they've made King Thistle really small. Daisy, Poppy, that wasn't funny or clever. Little, 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 little. <laughs> Da-dum, do-da-dee-da, da-la-la-dee-da-da-da-da. We need to pull harder. Dee-da-dee. Oh, I wonder what they want. <sighs> Typical. They ring for me and then they wander off somewhere. Nanny Plum. Eh? We're here. So tiny. Um, Daisy and Poppy did a spell on us. Honestly, it's not hard to look after Daisy and Poppy. You just have to play with them. We tried that, Nanny Plum, but it went a bit wrong. What Daisy and Poppy like most is their baby dolly. Now, where is it? Boo! Oh, Daisy and Poppy. Where have you put your baby dolly? Baby dolly! Dolly. Hello, I'm Baby Plum. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> oh no, they've changed Nanny into a doll. Baby Plum, it's lots of fun. Feed me, please. <laughs> what are we going to do? We need to get help. Let's call my mum. She'll know what to do. Good thinking, Ben! <gasps> this is heavy! <laughs> What's this for? There's no air in space. You'll have to wear a spacesuit. But we can just use magic to breathe. No, magic is not allowed aboard the elf rocket. You will have to leave your wands behind. <sighs> OK. Astronauts aboard the rocket! Queen Sissel, would you please come with me to the mission control room? Ooh! Systems check. Engines ready. Engines are go. Computers ready. Computers online. Fuel system ready. Fuel systems a okay. Start the countdown. Ten. I want to wish Nine. you all the best of luck. Eight. You are going where no elf Seven. has gone before. Oh, fair. Oh, or fairy. Oh, sorry, yeah. Holly. You are going where yeah. no elf or fairy has <laughs> gone before. Is everyone ready? All ready and yeah. A-OK, -okay, wise old elf. Zero. Here we go. Next stop, the moon. Blast off. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. All systems go. Where did it go? Where did it go? Where did it go? Into space! It actually worked. I wasn't expecting that. We are now out of Earth's atmosphere. We can take off our seatbelts. Whoa! I'm flying! That's because there's no gravity in space. I'm flapping my wings, but they don't do anything. Yes, your wings won't work in zero gravity. Are you sure there isn't a toilet? What's through this door? No! Don't open that door! <laughs> 